B O. Yes, the height. We shall start with the height. So the height of the pyramid is V O. From V to O, that is the height. You can see it from the notes here. V to O, that is the height of that pyramid. So the height is straight and it makes 90 degrees with the base. That's why we call it the height. Okay, so uh, let us proceed now. First, to find this height, we must know the distance OC. OC. What is the distance from O to C? Remember what I told you. I told you that SC is bisected into two at O. So AO is half of SC and also OC is half of SC. So we have to first obtain OC. We have to first obtain what? OC. So first obtain OC. Uh, and yeah. So we are going to get OC. So OC, OC will be equal to half of a SC. Isn't it half of SC? So OC is equal to a half times our SC. But what was our SC? Our SC was 8.4, 8.49. 8.49 so times 8.49 so what do we get as OC so 8.49 divided by 2 what do you get 4.25 you get, get 4.1 what? 4.25 Four point two five. So it can handle four point two five centi centimeters. So it means that here at OC here at that point there at OC there we have four point two five centimeters. That is OC from there up to there. Okay. Now we have now that right angle triangle. Are you seeing it? That right angle triangle that I showed you first what we are going to use so we are going to extract it out this is its base this is its hypotenuse we are going to extract it out and we find the height of v so i'm going to draw it from that diagram there i'm going to draw i'm going to draw it so i have yeah so I can draw it the way it is in the question, no problem. As long as you put the 90 degrees there. Okay, there. And you have this is O. This is C. And V. So this is 10 centimeters. And this is 4.25 centimeters. Meters. Okay, so now I'm going to use Pythagoras theorem to find. We are going to use Pythagoras theorem in this case. We are going to use Pythagoras theorem to find the height of the O. Let us see. So we are going to say. V O squared is equal to V O squared is equal to. Shall we say V O squared? No, shall we use, sorry, sorry, I'm going to use V C squared because V C is the, is the hypotenuse and this is the height. This one is the height. So the way you draw it, for me, I've drawn it basing on the way it appears in the, the, in the diagram, in that diagram. But you can draw it when it's a, when it's it's a right angle. It's uh, when, when in this format that you normally know this one. Something like this. I know you know this better. Something like that. And you put this is O, this is C, and this is V, and you put here 90 degrees, and you put 4.25 centimeters or 10 centimeters. Like that. 
So you can do it like that, and then you can say VC squared, VC squared, this is VC. So let me write below there, below that point, and I say VC squared is equal to, VC squared is equal to VO squared, then plus OC squared. Okay, so I can say V, VC is, this is 10, so I'll write 10 squared is equal to, it's 10, so 10 squared is equal to VO, but I don't know VO, so I'll write VO squared, then plus OC squared, which is 4.25 squared. Okay. So when once I square this one, I get 100 is equal to VO is equal to VO squared plus. So when you square that, what do you get? You get 18.0. 18.0. 18.1. 18.06, isn't it? Yes. 0625, isn't it? Uh-huh. Yes. So I'm going to I'm going to bring 18 on this side. So it's going, I'm going to subtract 18.0625 on both sides. So I have a hundred minus 18.0625 equals to V O squared. Isn't it? Uh -huh. When you subtract there, what do you get? So VO squared is equal to 81. Eh? 100 minus 1.9375. Uh, so now find the square root on both what? on both sides. So VO will be equal to four point two five. Yes. Four point two five centimeters. A, 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 a. Square root of eighty one point nine three seven five. Should I show you how we get to the square root? <laughs> square root of <laughs> yeah, eight one point nine three seven five. What do you get? Nine nine point zero five. Nine point you get nine point zero five. Okay, to the small places. Thank you. All right, so that is the height. The height of the pyramid is that. Now, I'm going to assign you in your groups. So I time assign you into your work groups. So. Okay. So So let me I'm going to assign you I have room 1 and room 2 maybe I can call them groups So this is group I can have group A Group A and another one will be group B, group group B. So group group B. Okay. So I'm going to have assigned you in those groups. So when you get a prompt there, accept and enter those groups. The exercise that you are going to do, you are going to do for me this question number three in your groups, and then you discuss from there. See so whether you get the answer. Are we together? Yes. Okay. Group B. 
Yes. So have you joined your group? Yes, Accept and enter the groups, please. Yeah, enter. It's crazy. I've also been Okay, members, members in group A, eh? are you there? Yes. Members in group A? Yes. So members in group A, I want you to discuss that question. I don't know, can you see the question? No. You can't see the question. Uh, let me share it with you. That's the question, eh? so take note of it. Number two. Can you say number three? Uh, yeah, sorry, number three. Number three. Hurry up, I have only two minutes in this group and I go to another group. Patricia, what is the question in group B? So I have not seen, I, I never took a screenshot. Okay, let me show you and you take the screenshot. Very fast, take the screenshot. We have only one question. Okay, number three, number three. Then in number four, you do it and you submit it on WhatsApp. Is it okay? So can you take a snapshot and then take a snapshot, everyone? Take a snapshot of that because I want to go and enter in the other group and also harmonize with them. The number four is not clear. Number four, you do it and submit it on my WhatsApp number. Is it okay? Okay. Uh, so you discuss, you discuss that. You discuss that. I'm going now to group A. Are we together? Okay. Okay, you discuss that. I'll come back and send it. Hello. Yes, Alexandra, I had a question. Yeah, it is sorry, I've not yet finished copying that question. Okay, the that diagram. Yeah. Please take the snapshot now. Take the snapshot and you discuss number three. Number yeah, some four. Some of us can't. Yeah? I want some to of us can't. You can't discuss. Can't take a snapshot. Yes. Okay, you draw that diagram very fast. Something like ten minutes. Members, you have only <clears throat> Please, can you discuss that in just I want to hear you discussing members. <laughs> Cynthia and Mai, I want to hear you discussing how do you get DG? Uh, 
Members, can you talk to one another? Alexandria. Yes. Uh -huh. How do you find this? Mm -hmm. Maya, are you there? I am there. Yes, are you discussing members? Okay. Someone should be able to give us Alexandria. When we go back to the main group where we started the show, we should be able to give us DG as your answer. Present that part DG. And Cynthia, you and my year, you you will you will send us the answer of D C of D C of D C. D G squared. You have only three minutes, members. You have only three minutes. Make sure that you have only three minutes. I'm going now in group B to see what is going on there. Yes. They're going to just find the angle. They're just telling us to find the, the length, not the angle. Eh? So we use yes. GHC, whereby the 90 degrees turns at H. Then yes. we say, okay, we write down the, the numbers. CH is 3.2 yes. yes. Then G is 4.3 centimeters. So now we are supposed to find CG, eh? whereby yes. CG. GC. Yes. GC is equals to GC squared is equals to CH squared plus HG squared. Eh? Yes. Whereby C G squared is equals to GH squared. squared plus 4.3 squared. Eh? Yes. Then we work out and let me check the final answer. 3.2 squared is 102.4. No, it's 10.24 plus 4.3 or 43. I think 4.3. 4.3. It's 4.3. Yeah, 4.3 squared is equal to 18.49. Then we add and get. Elsa. Yes. Elsa. Should yes. Should you consider like the, the other one? Eh? It's 10.24. Should we write 10 or 10.24? Members, you have only three you, minutes, minutes. You can write. You can write. You can put to one decimal place or to two decimal places, but I've given two decimal places. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yes. I got my answer after adding those numbers. Eh? I got 28.73. Eh? Then I get the square root of 28.73 as, yes. as 5.36 centimeters. That is, yes. that is my length of GC. Eh? So that's the answer yes. of part B. Hello? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the, the answer big, is Esther, the answer is the answer is 5.36 5.36 centimeters. 5. Point what? 36. 
Yes, that's what I'm going. Yeah, then yes. to find DG, DG, they want us to find length of of length of line DG, whereby DG, DG. Yes, this line. I think we shall use. Okay. Emphasis, maybe we can Esther. use. Yes. We can use, yeah, you can use D E H. Eh? I mean, D E H, eh? whereby we first find yes, a half. Yes. We can use the, we can use this D E H. Eh? Then we, we first find yes. the half. So, members, half of, members, have you obtained D G? Yeah, we are still. Okay, get get for me diggy, just get diggy, and then we, we go back to the main main group. Hurry up. So EH, we say a half of EH. So Esther, you, EH is Esther, you tell us the answer of diggy. <laughs> yeah. Have you finished this site? Almost. Almost. Yes. Uh, have you discussed? We are discussing. We are discussing. Okay. Have you obtained the answer of Diggy? Yeah, okay. okay. I'm still on that. If you have the answer of Diggy, we can go to the main the main class now. You're not yet. Okay. You hurry up, but you have no time. Have you seen? Yes. Yes. Yes, Rachel. EG. EG is not given. So you have yeah. only you have only seconds to go back to the main group. I put eleven point one. Eleven point one. E Alex, what have you got? Alexa, that is what's your answer? Teacher. Members, I know it was a, a new experience, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh -huh. So when you are told you to discuss, you discuss with your friends very fast because we shall be having no my short time. So we have only 10 minutes to finish this meeting. Are we together? Yes, uh -huh. So now let me let me ask from group uh, from group from group from group A, what was your diggy? From group A, what was your diggy? Group A. What was your diggy? Group B, did you find the answer? Shall we find the answer for both okay. DG and GC? So what was DG? We got 4.67 centimeters. 4.67 
centimeters. Centimeter. And, and then, then see we got 5.36 centimeters. And then this was 5 point what? 5 36 centimeters. Okay. Yes. Group A, I've not got answers from you, but let us see. Let us see members. Yes, what was digging? What? It was. What was digging? Eight point zero five centimeters. Eight point zero five centimeters as diggy. Okay. So let us work very fast in these eight minutes and see whether we shall be able to get the answer of diggy. So when you look at this, when you look at this cuboid here, it means that I'm about to finish. So it means that we have to find Iggy. Are you seeing Iggy? Members. Uh -huh. We have to find Iggy first. So we have to find Iggy first so that we form a triangle inside there, inside that cuboid, inside that cuboid. So to find Iggy, we are going to first use the triangle F E G. Uh -huh. F E G. F E G. So we, we have that here. I'm going to do for you on the Iggy, then we'll do the other one. The other one. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Time by so this is the triangle we have shown. There. Yeah. So there is that triangle which is there. So this is E and this is G. This is F. So here it is. Here it is 6.8 centimeters and this is 4.3 centimeters. So even this one is 4.3 centimeters. So we are going to first use this triangle here so that we find this Iggy. Once we find the Iggy, we shall be able to find the Iggy. So let us first find the Iggy. First find the Iggy by drawing this right angle, this uh, triangle. I'll draw the right angle, the triangle. Let me draw it like this. Okay, so I have 90 at F. So I put F here where 90 is. So I'm going to put, you know, this is the hypotenuse. So I put E here and E here. So FG, FG is 6.8 and FE is 4.3. So I'm going to use Pythos square theorem and I find GE. So GE squared will be equal to 6.8 squared, then plus 4.3 squared. So it means that my GE is equal to 6.8 squared. Let's a calculator I get 46.24 then plus 4.3 squared, which is 18.4. So when I add those two, I get 64.7. When you are just entering the meeting, so now I find the square root. I find the square root on both sides. I get 8.05 centimeters as my as my GE. That is GE. 
8.05 centimeters. So I'm saying group A, big you said 8.0, but 8.05 that was DE, isn't it? <laughs> So now, uh -huh. so now I've obtained this one here, it is 8.05. So I'm going to find this. So if this is okay. so this is 3.2 centimeters, it means that also this one 3.2 centimeters from the diagram here. Okay, so I'm going to draw that triangle. We have no time, so I'm going to pass it. So it means this is E, this is D, and this is D. So ED is 8.05 centimeters, and ED, ED is 3.2. So from mm -hmm. you can find D G squared is equal to three point two yeah. squared plus eight point zero five. You can't see. Esther. Remember, yeah, I will say that. So D G squared will be equal to squared. So ten point two four then plus. That's sixty four point zero eight zero two five. So when I add that to ten point four, so D G squared will be equal to seven five point zero four two five. And when I find the square root and D G will be equal to 8.66. So members, are you there? Yes. Uh, so you can see that uh, there was group A. The problem is that you called this one DD, yet it was ED. Then group B. Then group B, group B, I don't know how you got this. So, uh, the time was running. The time was not enough. So, okay, you go yes. in, your, in, your, uh, in your own, do for me GC. Do you see GC? GC will be very easy for you, isn't it? Yes, we did yes. that one. Yeah, that one I know. Oh. And also do for me number four. When you come back, when you come back uh, next week, we shall pass through this question and the question. So you post the you post the, the answers on my WhatsApp number. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. I thank you very much for attending. It was the first time to go in groups. Next time we shall have. We shall do the groups are enough. So, yes, teacher. Have a nice day and may God bless you. If the shall wait. Yes. So, we are trying to get them proof in the question. The book is there.